Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Somebody got a machete in here. Hill stickers though. War is gone. This is crazy. This is worse than yesterday. Oh my god. I can't believe I was able to just walk right in. Check that out. Wow, oh, this is incredible. Wow. This is really neat. What's up? Hey everybody, right now I'm just outside of Blonox, Pennsylvania, here in the Fox Chapel area of town. And as you can see behind me is an abandoned Max and Irma's restaurant which closed in 2016. While I don't know a whole lot of information about the place as to why it closed, I do know one story that I'm, I'm thinking is true based on its Facebook page, which I'll tell you while we walk around it. So let's go and check it out. Alright, so here it is, Max and Irma's. This location, as I told you, closed sometime in 2016. Um, not sure of the exact date, um, but looking at reviews on the uh, restaurant's uh, own Facebook page, somebody last uh, left a review of how they ate here in the springtime, and by September it was closed already. Check that out. I like that on the door. That's pretty cool. These windows are they're kind of hard to see through. It's weird. It's like hurricane type glass. So. That's pretty cool. So, as I was saying about it closing, the one story that I know of is from their own Facebook page that they posted. The owner of the restaurant uh, apparently owned this and a bunch of other ones as well. And uh, just one day he decided to quit. So he closed this restaurant and uh, a bunch of others. Look at that. Ain't that pretty. <laughs> so yeah, like I was saying, he just decided to up and quit one day. And he shut down the restaurant here and it left everybody here heartbroken and angry. As you could imagine. Kind of like what... Uh, it's kind of, a, it sounds like a similar story of what happened with um, Joe's Crab Shack, so. I'm not sure if they just up and closed like Joe's Crab Shack or not, or if they closed like, you know, slowly giving the employees a chance to move on to other uh, jobs, you know, without just being out of a job in a blink of an eye, you know, um, but I don't know. But from the sounds of it, from their Facebook page, they're not too happy. They weren't anyway, and they had a thing where you could file a complaint to corporate. As you can see, I'm in the trash area now. A lot of garbage, Coca-Cola trays. Bread rack. So, yeah, again, I don't know. If um, they just closed or not. But either way, it sounds awful. And from what I understand and what I was reading, a lot of people enjoyed uh, coming here to eat. You know, there were some, you know, negative reviews. Every place is going to get that. But generally, this appeared to have a good uh, rating from uh, the public overall. And while I live nearby, I never ate at this location. You know, I've always wanted to, and I talked about it, but it just never happened. And now, obviously, it's too late. You look right here where this big square is. That's where the sign used to be that said Max and Irma's. It faced Route 28, which is right over there. And on the other side is uh, RIDC Park. I'm at RIDC Park on this side, as you can see all around. A lot of businesses here and such, you know, corporate offices, like for Giant Eagle, for starters, they have an office here. But it was nice, too, because this would be a good place. There's a hotel 
you know, on the other side of the highway, there's a hotel over there, and then you would have this place to eat. And if you go down in the Blah Knox or a Fox Chap or even like the Waterworks area, they, you know, they got plenty of shopping and places to eat down there if you're in the area or if you're just driving by and need a rest stop or something. But this was a nice place. And from what I understand, too, a lot of people that work here, they would come here to eat lunch and stuff, too. So they lost a great business. And they're pretty upset. Take a look inside. They got those blinds uh, closed. These windows are all blacked out, so you can't see anything in there. These ones are closed. Doors are locked shut, as you would imagine. We'll go back. I saw some of the windows, uh, like these ones here, the blinds are open so we can peek inside. Let's go back around over here. That car, I've seen it going through this parking lot a bunch of times. I'm thinking it's somebody who's practicing driving. Might be somebody teaching their loved one how to drive. Because if it was security by now, they would have stopped me with me walking all around this property. They've been looking at me, I've been looking at them, and whatever. <laughs> there you go, there's a look at the inside. Look at that painting on the wall, that's pretty cool. That's pretty sweet. Nice property here too. I drove past here a couple of days ago, right after we got all that snow on the first and second days of spring. You know, and we had quite a lot. Now, as you can see, it's all melted, but I drove past here, it was late at night, and I didn't film because it was pitch black here, because and you wouldn't have been able to see anything at all. But I had noticed they did plow the parking lot they did you know maintain it so as you can see it's a gigantic parking lot too for the restaurant like it goes all the way around like over by where my car is parked and then all the way around back here and on this side here so yeah it's uh quite a large parking lot for this restaurant my only uh, thing is, I don't know when this location opened. I know it's been here my whole life, you know. I have uh, family that lives up in Springdale, you know, further up 28, past the Chess Arena. And um, we would pass this all the time. I always remember it seeing, I always remember seeing it here. And uh, we just never stopped. I never had the opportunity to stop and eat here. But I don't know when it opened, but like I said, it closed in 2016. And from the employees... And I guess the GM of this location and fans alike, you know, people that stopped here to eat, they were really upset once it closed up. So, and from what I understand now, the rent on the place is unpaid. So, who knows? RIDC Park lost a good tenant here with the closure of this place. So, I feel for the customers that enjoyed this place and for the employees alike because it seemed like they considered themselves a family here and that's what makes you feel bad for is the people that consider themselves here family so with that said i'm going to wrap up this video here if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber to my channel please subscribe for more content and if you enjoy the work that i do for the channel here and you wish to help make the channel grow uh if you would like to make a contribution to put help gas in the car you know and lodging if necessary you know uh, you can uh, contribute at www.patreon.com slash wallyb26. There is no obligation, and I'm not asking you to. It's just if you'd like to help. If not, that's fine, too. You're, you watching the video helps support the channel by in the terms of uh, Google ad revenue. So thank you so much. But anyway, that's going to wrap it up for here. Uh, it's a pretty nice day out, so I'm going to try and enjoy the rest of uh, the daytime. And I will talk to you guys later. So take care. Stay awesome. Later.